everyone, it's Miriam and for this week's video I thought I'd upload a few little studies I did in my sketchbook uh, the past week. So the video is in two parts. The first part is me doing some cloud and sky studies, there's just four of them on the page. And then the next part of my video will be me doing, I think there's like, again there's four studies of smoke because I want to include smoke in one of my big pieces in the future so I just wanted to practice that. Um, there, all the studies are in gouache and I did the mistake in this to use the gouache like watercolour so I didn't get the results I quite wanted but you know live and learn and I mean I'm still working on getting rid of all habits that I have with different mediums and things like that so it's all exercise isn't it, it's all practice. Um, on a different note, um, I'm back in London, finally, after about a bit more than a month and a half away. I had my first night in my bed in a month and a half a couple of days ago and it felt really good. <laughs> I've been away for quite a while but not even like in one place I'd moved. I went first through Ireland for work for four weeks and then I went back to France for Christmas and then now I'm finally back which is part of the reason why I didn't upload a video last week because it was the weekend I was coming back to London and it was just it was a very very messy working weekend I was exhausted and we really, and quite ill and I had loads of packing to do and loads of stuff to sort out before I came back it was just it was just a bit of a messy weekend so I just didn't didn't have the time to do the voiceover for this video that I recorded last week um so here it is, I thought I'd upload it this week. I'm also not entirely sure I'll have content to upload in the next couple of weeks just because I'm picking up some more work with the same employer I had before Christmas so it's for two weeks I'm going to be really really busy but um, I can guarantee you I'll be back in force in February because because it's been a while since I've done like a full piece, it's only been your studies and I miss doing like a full painting and I have loads of ideas so hopefully I'll be able to do that in February. Um, in the meantime, please let me know what you think of those little studies. They were actually quite difficult. <laughs> I mean, they didn't take me that long. This whole page that I'm doing right now probably took me about an hour, an hour and a half, something like that. But uh, I'd never painted clouds before um, and so they were actually really difficult. I find the texture of clouds actually quite tricky to capture because you have to give them... I mean, what's quite nice, I find, is when, you know, those massive mushroom type... Um, kind of um, uh, not mushroom clouds <laughs> not quite the same thing um, how do you call them like cotton type clouds I don't know the names in English um, they they always have a quite a defined edge so they look quite solid they look like the type of clouds that you want to jump in and bounce off of um, but you have to get this this nature of them that is quite quite bouncy and quite full and at the same time you have to get to make them look like clouds so weightless and just like water basically um it's really hard <laughs> it's all about the lighting and the colors that you put in them and all that and uh, i found it quite a challenge so i'm not entirely sure i'm happy with all those little studies of clouds and skies but um they were an interesting little piece that i, I, I never really tried before so i think i'll probably do more because i actually really like attempting to paint that kind of structure and that kind of texture um, so I did those four little studies. The first one was, as you saw, like those rays of sunshine through big clouds. The second one was kind of a dusky sky. And then the third one was that one with the moon. And the fourth one is just a stormy setting with um, a, one single big ray going on in the middle. Um, and yeah, that's nearly the end of my little cloud study. I used... Um, masking tape around the edges to get a nice defined edge but my masking tape is a little bit old and so uh, everything seeps underneath and the glue is kind of coming off so I need to buy a better one but hey that's why I kind of went around with a black outline just because I thought the edge was still a bit messy to my liking so I just thought I'd define it a little bit better so yes this, um, I didn't have a scanner when I painted this because I was in France and so here's a little camera view of what I painted. Let me know if you prefer that or if you prefer the scanned image at the end. I'm not entirely sure which one people find better. Maybe it's more dynamic to have a camera angle. I don't know. Oh my god, on a different note, 
Um, completely forgot to tell you about that. I can't wait to film with it. But I've received a new camera because um, thanks to the money I earned on my job before Christmas and thanks to money that I received at Christmas because I only asked for money, I was able to afford a much, much better camera. And so I can't wait to try it. It's a Canon 700D. Um, which is kind of what I, the only thing I could afford because it was also it was also half price just before Christmas, so I just went for it. I just didn't think about it and just went for it, and uh, I can't wait to try it out. The only problem being that I probably won't have the same kind of angle I had in my previous videos where the camera is really just above me. Um, so for this one, it's going to be a bit tricky. I'm gonna have to use my tripod and all that. We'll see. I'll find something that works um at least it won't be as shaky as my old videos um, because it won't be attached to my lamp that vibrates every time i move so that's a plus um but literally i've been trying it out and i'm 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 amazed by the quality and i can't wait to see if my videos are a bit less blurry with it we'll see um i'm excited about that at least and it's also i can put it as a business expense because for it's a great tool to have for my makeup and things like that so yeah anyway how are you guys doing um i've almost i've reached 700 followers and it blows my mind i've been kind of growing by about 100 followers a week which is bloody insane um so thank you everyone that's subscribing it's just just brilliant i uh, i mean it's it's wonderful <laughs> i really didn't expect it to go that way um thank you so so much everyone and by the way i will definitely definitely have a giveaway probably of a print um maybe some art supplies depending on what i managed to get and perhaps an original if i get the time to do it before i hit 1k but i'm also going to be hitting 1k on instagram at some point so i might do like a join giveaway where you can enter two different giveaways um something like that we'll see i have never done the giveaway before so this should be interesting if you guys have advice let me know <laughs> because i'm a bit lost i'm still a newbie right i'm going to talk about this painting a little bit more because something really bothers me about it i quite enjoyed painting smoke it turned out to be a lot easier than i thought it would be but i hated the way i painted the fire on this because this is a match in case you can't see which you probably can't because it's terribly terribly painted but it's um i found this picture of a match and then this really blue smoke kind of swirling around i don't know if it was digital or if it was a real picture i don't really care it was pretty and it was a good practice so i went for it and i'm painting on top of indian ink india ink is that how you call it in english um it's chinese ink in french but um india ink i think in english anyway because I wanted a really dark, dark, dark background like my reference picture and I wanted to see how it would work to have some gouache over some um, India ink and actually it worked really nicely because because it's so smooth when you put it on quite opaquely the India ink, it, it, it made it quite easy to do that kind of translucent smoky effect on top if I, if I used it properly so that was really interesting, sorry my video is kind of playing up at some point I think it's, it's the way it was exported Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, really disappointed with the fire. I think I'm going to have to do a few fire studies in the future because that was a fail. Um, but other than that, the smoke itself was really interesting to do. And although I went for some pretty intense smoke effects, um, <laughs> they're pretty epic. I um, don't think I'll go that epic on my painting in the end. I have so many ideas coming up. I'm really excited. But anyway, here we go. This is the end of my video. So here's my little camera span of my little paintings. Um, please let me know what you thought about it and um, if you've ever at attempted to paint smoke and what your favourite technique for doing it is. If you guys would like to see more of my work, uh, you can click on this uh, link here and you can go to my previous videos. And if you want to see something completely new, I'll hopefully see you next week. Or if not, I'll definitely see you in February. Have a lovely day, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.